Labas lang kami ng area. This clip was taken by Filipinos held at a Cambodian police station in January. They say it shows they were victims of human trafficking. Two of the group have since returned home and told Al Jazeera their experiences were horrific. Bruno doesn't want to reveal his identity and says he was made to travel from one country to another illegally and by boat. There were 17 of us in a small wooden boat, including an infant and luggage. That was the most traumatic part because the boat could capsize any time, and no one would find out if we died. This was their destination in Cambodia, a large business complex with many buildings. Miles says they were given customer service jobs but then forced to carry out online fraud. The third day of chatting is when we offer potential victims fake crypto investments. The lowest offer is $50, but it can go up to as much as $50,000. But unlike Bruno, Miles was flown to Cambodia posing as a tourist, one of the more common routes and methods according to victims. Filipino trafficking victims who've come forward say they're usually questioned at border checks when leaving the Philippines but they passed through with relative ease. They say at least one immigration officer stamped their passports and let them straight through. At least six officers are being investigated by the Bureau of Immigration, or BI, following Senate inquiries. The BI should not be a scene of the crime. It should be the last line of defense for our migrant workers. So it really has to crack down on the syndicate or syndicate still operating within human trafficking. During the legislative hearings, it was also revealed that the government had rescued 200 victims caught in a similar scheme. They were not only from Cambodia, but Laos and Myanmar. That's raised fears. Many more crimes like these are going undetected. Barnabilo Al Jazeera, Manila.